almost hate doing this, but I'm going to show you what it looks like as well when you're wearing these. And you're looking at something like that. You can't really, it's not quite dark enough yet to see the effect, but. So you can't see pretty much anything is happening. Now it's all blue. Look, it's all gone. It's crazy. See? That was like perfect for it. Look, can't see any of it. Gone. These only block 400 to 490 nanometer blue light. Ha. Wasn't it nice of it to do that for us? So, that's the church tower. We're at Ryerson campus and I got pictures of where I was. It was number 111 and I saw a cool little, yeah. We're going, we're wending our way over to that building that's right up top, which is the merchandise complex, which used to be Simpson Sears. And it's now condos and it's really cool. Little <laughs> big place. No, I already know because of my truck driving experience that that is only going into the basement where they do deliveries. Just can't go. I'm looking for shortcuts. Because I just got back to Toronto and a lot of stuff has changed and I'm doing Uber delivery, testing out an entrepreneurial idea I've had, but it has to do with delivery. And uh, I've been exploring the city in a big way and now that I'm on Steam It, I see that like people like taking tours. So this is actually Ryerson University. It used to be called Ryerson Polytechnic Institute and it wasn't a university. And now it is. I used to take my first fiance. We got engaged when we were like 22 years old or something like that. And I used to bring her to right here in this building. And she was taking their film uh, thing and she actually uh, ended up being a famous soap opera daytime soap opera star in Greece like the country Greece so it's cool she's been on stuff like Smallville this guy's rather controversial that's right up here he's the guy that founded the school and I believe he kept slaves and stuff like that so this statue is kind of controversial I do believe if I'm not mistaken of Egerton Ryerson. Egerton Ryerson. And because I'm filming it like this, take a picture of it. So, this is the actual old Ryerson building. It's really nice for walking dogs in if you come in here. And going the other way, there are, there's all in Toronto too. If you go to the downtown core, you're going to see all these placards that tell you the thing about the history. So, you can read all about it. And then going in there, you can, there's like a nice, uh, raised area inside with like grass and stuff all over it and people walk their dogs play sports and sometimes they hold rave parties in there for the school they have um, DJs come in and you can also watch uh, movies and sci-fi flicks in the summertime in the park there as well it's all free so there's the old Simpson Sears building so that that company right now this year is being dissolved completely and it was, it was like one of the very first catalog companies that ever was. And for some reason, they didn't catch on that they were already doing what we're doing now, but they didn't switch over to online. They were already del doing delivery via a catalog service, just like you going on their site and saying, I want to order this and that. They just sent the catalog to your house and you ordered it, called the number or whatever. And for some reason, <laughs> they didn't just switch it over to online and they or they didn't do it right they got the wrong advice and they got swamped by Amazon but this used to be their main distribution center right here and I'm taking care of my friend's dog up there and I've been coming here for over 20 years so first dog I was walking was a Dalmatian Jake and that's when I was a bodybuilder so it's kind of cool to walk around jacked walking a big Dalmatian that was cool all the boys on Church Street used to love me and uh, that's Church Street, actually, that we just walked over. So this building is actually really cool. It's got a 24-hour metro underneath it. It's got a veterinary clinic and a coffee shop on the other side. And there's one other thing. And then just on the other side of that road, there's like kebab places. And then you're so close to Dundas Square that you got like all of it. And then this is the Ryerson Communications building. 
and you can see that walkway goes all the way across and there's a metal I didn't show you that there's an actual um, uh, glassed in walkway that goes above the street that goes between the two buildings and these ones here are brand new and I'm gonna see if I can show you a view from on top but I'll have to ask my friend because you know we don't need everyone knowing where he lives <laughs> so super cool